Okay, folks, today is Saturday, January 6th. You know what that means? Newsday. Let's see. Let's look at the uh, front page, see what the most important the news of the day is. It says right here, it's Muckster's birthday. It doesn't really say that, but it should. Because I will guarantee it. You know, I don't bother looking at the paper until I read it with you guys. That's just my uh, little promise to you. But I have not looked in here. I'm willing to bet $2 that there's not going to be anything in here more interesting than my birthday. And uh, I know what you're all wondering. How old are you? Well, let's see. Uh, if I got the math figured right, uh, carry the, uh, I'm 111 today, which actually is tomorrow because I'm doing this yesterday, but you're seeing it today, which is tomorrow, right? We all together on that? Well, let's see what else they have. Uh, in rush recap. Um, I guess I could see if there's any uh, highlights. Since it's my birthday, you know what happens. I'm a year older, I gotta start wearing glasses. Let's see, uh, I saw it had like little headlines and I thought it would be things like, uh, you know, a new sewer project or whatever. But in bold letters it has, Ron Swanson and Leslie Nopes needed yeah, you know, so it doesn't really give information in the headlines. Just, uh, they need people to serve on Park and Recreation Board. They also, uh, here comes the sun. Uh, two people from Geotech Engineering had concerns about something they read in the newspaper last month regarding comments residents made about the solar energy array proposed. Yeah, I don't care. Uh, here's the headline down here is Stop It. Marrow asked for help in establishing ordinances that would ease the burden of code enforcement. I don't know. Does that really sound burdensome to you? The code enforcement job. Don't they just sort of ride around in their car and go, oh, hey, this guy's grass is too long. I'm going to stop and write them out a ticket for $3,000 because their grass should only be half as high as it is. Uh, let's see. Over here, we've got the Roland Theater. Had a ribbon cutting for a new concession ticketing party rental space. Uh... For those of you from not around here, the Roland Theater down in Phillipsburg, it's uh, like a hundred years old. It's one of those uh, little fashion theaters with the great big screen. You know, a lot, of, a lot of those old theaters, if they're still open, a lot of places what they did was they went in and put a wall and put two smaller screens in, but they've still got like the nice big one. And there's a picture of the people cutting the ribbon. Uh, and there's a guy signing his name on the wall. I wonder if they arrested him. And, uh, uh oh, I think I just, I just got learned something down here. Of course, you got to go with the, you need some kind of dumb, cute picture. So there's a dog checking out the concessions and it says here Pitkin thinks he knows what the best movie candy is now if you remember from previous weeks in here somewhere is a uh, advice column ask Pitkin that I always say sounds dumb uh, I think we know why Pitkin is obviously the editor's dog or something Just, uh, 
I gotta tell you, the S Pitkin just uh, got dumber for me. You ought to mind them spicing in a little humor. But uh, it's still supposed to be a newspaper, and I don't know. Here we got the letters to the editor. There's uh, the Pittsburgh, Pittsburgh, Phillipsburg Cemetery Organization are writing to say that uh, there's 11,000 marked graves and more unmarked ones that, uh, let's see, due to a recent shift, uh, funny. I guess basically they're just saying they need money. And here's another one that says, Today I celebrate the eighth birthday of my German Shepherd dog. These are letters to the editor, folks. This is what somebody decided to write to them about. And that the paper decided to print is a letter about somebody's dog being eight years old. Uh... Now, I'm probably going to feel stupid when I read the rest of this and find out that it's got like a serious thing to it, but... Okay, they got it as a rescue in 2016. Don't know his actual birthday, so... He came into my life after, uh... The other dog was shot to death and... Okay, well... I was a little worried because I... My eye was going down and I saw something about murder and I thought... This is really going to be bad guys making fun of it, but I know it's like sad for people that someone murdered the dog, but I'm just glad it didn't say I got it after uh, I inherited it from my son after he was murdered or something. Here's a police report. There's one. Seats and siphoning. Two black and pink car seats were removed from a vehicle and gas was siphoned. Well, you know, if you don't have the seats... You're not going to be driving anyway, so why do you need the gas? An investigation into real theft, that retail theft at Morrisdale Dollar General is ongoing. I'm sure, you know, you know notice it doesn't say grand theft at the Dollar General. Emily Gerbel was arrested for burglary because it took some drywall. Valued at $500. Ooh, fight in O-Town. Which, for those of you who aren't paying attention, O-Town would be Osceola. Which, by the way, these are like those uh, $3 cheaters that you get. They're not prescription. But they work for stuff like this. Fight in O-Town. Tyler High, 23 of Osceola, and Alina English, 20, were arrested, charged, and lodged in the Clearfield County Jail after police, well, PSP, that would be state police, responded to 132 Curtin Street and found the pair to have engaged in a physical altercation. Now, uh, this, uh, you know, these here days, you can't be sure about these things, but Tyler and Elena kind of sounds like uh, a boy and a girl. So, and then, and you never know. I mean, I know some vicious women, but I'm, uh, I'm hoping uh, somebody teaches Tyler a lesson. Uh, stolen trampoline in Morrisdale. There's one, the little headline says, Pray for this man. Brandon Hetrick, 28, was traveling south when he lost control of his Chevy Malibu. Traveled off the side of the road and Brandon stuck a tree and overturned onto the passenger side. He was not wearing his seatbelt. He was trans reported to the hospital, suspected of serious injuries. 
and the car was towed away by Dunlap Towing. Seems weird to like for a newspaper headline though to say pray for somebody who was in an accident. State police investigate harassment of a 43-year-old Phillipsburg man claiming that a 43-year-old West Decatur woman yelled at him. That's what it says. It just says she yelled at him. If I had a dollar for every time a woman yelled at me. Unwanted visitor, a 50-year-old Phillipsburg man came in on came on a 28-year-old Phillipsburg woman's property, unwanted. And, you know, I mean, I got to have a little sympathy for this guy because uh, I've often uh, had women tell me I was unwanted. Uh, police investigated non-physical domestic altercation involving a 44-year-old Osceola woman and a 22-year-old Osceola female. So a non-physical domestic altercation. 44 and 22 kind of sounds like a mother and daughter yelling at each other. And once again, that's a good reason to be calling the state police. 911, what's your emergency? There's two women out front yelling at each other. Please. And finally, we got endangering a child. Shannon Irwin, 34, of Osceola, contacted police in regards to welfare check on her father and herself. It was discovered she was suspected to be under the influence of drugs while in physical custody of her one-year-old daughter. Irwin was taken into custody for DUI and endangering the welfare of a child. Um, I'd like the full story on that. I mean, it's kind of weird you call for a welfare check on yourself. I mean, on, on the one hand, you know, it's like the lady was out of it. But on the other hand, if she realized that she was just so drugged up that she was endangering her child. You gotta give her some kind of credit, huh? <laughs> There's a, it continues on to the next page and the little headline here says, no crime committed. And then of course it says, Pennsylvania State Police were called to midway collision as a Smith & Wesson Pistol, holster, magazine, and some ammo were found in the center console of a rental car. The fire owner was located. There was no crime committed. So somebody rented the car and forgot that they left their pistol in it. You know, that... Uh, don't you kind of think that they should say... You're not competent to be carrying a gun if you just leave it laying in a car and forget about it. Here's another uh, Sierra Bratton, 23 of Osceola, was found to be in possession of meth during the course of a warrant service at her Curtin Street home. Yeah, the one earlier was 108 Curtin Street. This is 112. For those of you that know anything about Osceola, those would be down there close to the bridge, you know, at the bottom of Curtin. Uh, I wonder, wonder if that'd be uh, the Reed House. Just kind of sounds like. And for those of you not from around here, the Reed House is a 300-year-old uh, uh, crumbling hotel and bar. Oh, and uh, is this the, okay, I did, I didn't read the uh, headline for that one. The headline for that was Messing Around. Shoving. Hey, this one's not Osceola. Kevin Bauer, 21 of West Decatur, was charged with 
harassment for shoving a 67-year-old West Decatur man. Yeah. That sounds like somebody that needs to be slapped around a little bit. Not that I am, you know, condoning violence, folks. But between you and me, he needs to be slapped around a little bit. Accidental house fire. The state police fire marshal is investigating the cause and origin of a fire that destroyed a mobile home in Winburn. And it's almost like uh, the jokes write themselves when it says the mobile home was totally destroyed and there was $25,000 damage. Obituaries, let's see if we know any dead people this week. Which, by the way, I've been keeping track. I still I still claim my birthday my birthday's bigger news than anything we've read so far. Timothy A. Harv Kephart, born in 65. Uh apparently he is from Houtsdale. Don't know him. Charlene Langhorn, born in 58. From Osceola. Uh, let's see. Born in, uh, daughter of Robert Rolls and Ruth Minnie Dixon. Don't know her either. Let's see. Clarence Royer, born in 35. Uh, he's from Clearfield, it looks like. What about down here? John Robbie Wagner III. Yeah, he was just born in 1990. 33 years old. From Chester Hill. Uh, was, died at his home. My mother always used to say when it says died at home. That was a code for suicide, but that's not always necessarily true, you know, it could be uh, somebody that was on hospice or whatever, whatever it was, 33, that's too young, let's see, uh, in here we have where uh, somebody donated a thousand dollars to the Houtsdale Fire Company. As they say in uh, England, I CBA can't be arsed to read down there and find out who gave him the money or whatever. But whatever it was, it was nice of him. Here's the Yosho VFW. It gave. Oh. I see. It, it, uh, I saw where it said about surgeon. I thought they gave money to a surgeon. But I guess that's an officer at the VFW, Surgeon Wallace Hampton. I've never never noticed that before. You know, obviously they have like commander and I think, you know, secretary, treasurer and that. But So they have surgeon. He presented a thousand bucks to Edith Gonzalez for the Sanborn Cemetery Association. And the cemeteries are... After money, it seems. Uh, Here we go. Uh, whatever you do, don't tell Toby this. In Osceola Mills, the uh, Tang Soo Do studio is having a 30 day free trial. So, all Toby needs is another sport to get involved in. Uh, da -da. Actually, all, all Toby's parents need. Toby's perfectly happy with going to 4D Sports, but he's not the one that has to do all the driving and taking off for work and going to watch the games. And... But hey, uh, speaking of things more interesting than what you find in the paper, 
Gordon posted a picture yesterday of uh, his uh, basketball team playing, uh, I think it was the one where it played during the junior high game or something. Uh, they played like during halftime, but Toby sunk a basket at the uh, with the 10 foot basket. That's pretty good for a seven year old. Uh, there's Reader of the Week, Karen Catherine. And there are people around here with the last name Catherine, in case you're thinking that the name was, you know, sort of like one of those Sally Mae, and they didn't give her last name. What's your claim to fame? I try to help out the journal when I can. This is the journal. Gee, I wonder why they picked her as Reader of the Week. What are your favorite topics to cover as a writer for the newspaper? See, now she writes for the paper. And they chose her as Reader of the Week. It just seems a little lazy. It's like, um, oh, who are we going to get for Reader of the Week this week? I don't know. Let me uh, just do the girl in the desk next to me. Uh, what's your favorite topics to cover? She likes writing the business spotlights. I mean, that's basically ads, right? Again, talk about lazy. It's not like you got to do a lot of research. You just, uh, the business says, we're selling cars. And so you write an article that says, they sell cars. What's something you've learned about the newspaper process that surprised you? That it's very timely. She's surprised to find out that newspapers have deadlines. Somebody, uh, if you know Karen Catherine. Now, I haven't finished reading all this stuff yet, but uh, you can tell her I'm thinking uh, she ain't, ain't sounding too smart. So it's very timely. You have to balance getting everything in the paper and lay it out like a puzzle. They're trying to find the right puzzle pieces, and it's like a work of art. You have to look at it and figure out what will work cohesively. So, uh... She says it's timely, but then she talks about getting the articles lined up. Now, what does that have to do with timely? And again, it's a newspaper. You're supposed to be a wordsmith. Maybe you could have come up with something better than timely for how everything fits together. Let's, let's just uh, cogitate on that a bit. And I don't mean to be condescending, but uh, cogitate means to think about it. Oh, God. Do you read and take Pitkin's advice? All of his advice? I think all of it has meaning. You can insert it into your own life. He's a wise dog. Well, there we have confirmation that the dog buying candy is... The advice column person. What is something surprising most people don't know about you? Let's see if we can guess what it is. I'm going to guess uh, she flunked out of high school. Uh, I can paint landscapes and nature. Okay, now. I got I got a joke here. There's something, something going on with my seat cushion that just is not comfortable. But anyway, she paints landscapes and nature. Now, if you know me, you know I'm not much of an artist. But, and feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. A landscape is a painting that will show like trees and flowers and stuff, right? You go outside and you'll do mountains and now those are landscapes. So now we've got the journal's reader of the week, their best wordsmith, who thinks timely has to do with putting puzzle pieces together and who also, uh, what was the other, uh, well, she loves taking advice from a dog. 
and she says she can paint landscapes and nature. I'm telling you, this is why the quality of this paper is so good that you have people like this writing for them. You know, I mean, adult like me might have said, I like painting landscapes and animals or landscapes and architecture, right? No, she paints landscapes, which are paintings filled with trees and such and nature. Because of course, those are two totally different things, right? If I mock, it's only because I think you sound stupid. How did you learn to paint? Okay, let's see what she says. Uh, well, this one, I had a talent for it when I was younger. But you have to keep practicing it, at it. Even if it looks hard, don't give up. I'll give her points on that one because as soon as it said, how did you learn to paint? I thought, basically, I don't think people do. You know, it's something you're born with and you can learn to be better at it. You know, you can take classes and people will teach you better how to present, you know, depth perception and stuff like that. But I think it's kind of like, you know, someone said, how did you learn to sing? Well, I didn't. I just started going, la, 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 la. But then someone taught me, which I wish, how to be good at it. What is something you've painted lately that you're particularly proud of? My God, they're stuck on the painting. And once again, why is she the reader of the week? She works there. She writes badly for them. And the reader of the week is spending all her time painting. Let's talk about uh, reading. I don't know. But something she was proud of. I just started a vase painting. That is a lot of pinks and browns. Now, it doesn't, you know, her, her words just evoke an image, don't they? I didn't want to say she paints a picture with her words. Again, a vase that has pinks and browns. I'm really proud of that. Why are you proud of the fact that the vase has pinks and browns? I don't know, if you said, what are you proud of painting? Wouldn't it be more like, uh, well, I painted this landscape, even though I meant to do nature. And when people see it, they feel like the trees are in 3D. You know, that'd be like to say you're proud of it. But to say I'm proud of, I painted a vase and it has pink and brown. Did I tell you, uh... As you're reading this, it's my uh, birthday. And you know, uh, I haven't really seen an outpouring of uh, love from you people yet. So I'll just say that uh, any uh, Amazon gift cards are welcome. Also, uh, Facebook cash. I tried sending Facebook cash one time. I don't know how to send it, but I have received it. So. You know, um, I think the standard uh, gift for an adult is uh, $5 per year that they've been alive. So again, like I said, I'm 111. So if you take 5 times 111, you have to, a decimal point, you, the 3, that'd be uh, $720. So, yeah. And I know that might be a little bit much for some of you, so we can easily set up like three easy payments over, you know, three months. So 720 divided by three would be about $350 a month. 
uh, let me see. Tell us about what you've been up to lately. I swear to God, if this girl says I've been painting landscapes and nature, we may have to uh, stop the uh, news of the week segment. Oh my God, I've been doing this for 30 minutes. Sorry, people. I've been trying to get more into scrapbooking. I got a sticker book for Christmas. So I'm going to try to do more of that maybe with some of my family photos. What do you like about the Mashannon Valley and what would you like to see change? Okay, let's take a minute and guess what she's going to say. She's going to say, I like that Mashannon Valley has a lot of landscapes and nature, right? Right. And uh, what I want to see change is uh, maybe if if the rivers had more pink and brown in them. I like the community. I like that. She's being specific. The community. Everybody's very nice. They get along with each other. I'd like to see more coffee shops. Where the hell does she live? Everybody gets along with each other. Didn't we just see like three police reports of people fighting out on the street? And uh, What's the best advice anybody ever gave you? Or do you have a life motto? The best advice they gave me was Make sure you always buy extra pink paint because you never know when you're going to want to draw a vase. Let's see. Always believe the impossible is possible. That's by Selena Quintanilla Perez. Always believe the impossible is possible. I believe I can fly. Okay, so we definitely have to do this now. Now that we know, dear Pitkin, do you ever climb a Christmas tree? Uh, wait till you hear the rest of this. Do you ever climb a Christmas tree? I find them irresistible. But my humans freak out if I even look at ours ever since the incident. I have eight lives left, Sasha. Dear Sasha, I know I may look like the Lion King, but please recall my legs are only four inches long. No, I cannot climb trees and I'm not reading the rest of this. This now begins to explain past versions of Dear Pitkin. Uh, but, I mean, vote in the comments. If you do not think my birthday is the most, the most uh, interesting thing you heard in this segment, please tell me what in here was more interesting than my birthday. I want to know. And uh, if you live in the area, the uh, food club pasta sauce is on sale, but who cares? You don't want to buy food club pasta sauce. Stick with, you know, the stuff, you know, ragu, Del Grosso. For those of you, those of you not from around here, Del Grosso is a local, kind of local company. They make good stuff. Nichols Italian Bread. Is 24 cents a loaf? That's got it. Yep, and it says if you buy $50 worth of groceries, but still. And you know, that's like actual real full size loaves of bread for only 24 cents. I don't think you've been able to buy a loaf of bread for 24 cents since, you know, the 1990s or 40s. Uh, Lettuce is 99 cents. I have no idea what lettuce usually cost. What else? Uh, 
Uh, coffee mate, two for seven bucks. I don't use coffee mate. Uh, you got shredded cheese, you got your crackers here, you got laundry detergent. I usually don't eat laundry detergent. I miss the whole, you know, Tide Pod fad. Um, well, yep, that's the uh, end of this week's news. Uh, what can I tell you? That's life in the big city. Oh, I should think of a, uh, it's, this would be like a, a David Caruso thing. Um, you know, this was an exciting week. Dun, dun, dun. That's life in the big city. And, uh, holy cow. Really broke my, uh, vow of trying to do short things from now on but i think i was very interesting today so this was well worth the uh we're coming up on 40 minutes here to recap dear pitkin's a dog the reader of the reek is a bad bad writer and uh i take cash amazon gift cards and facebook pay there's also a thing through my bank called, I think, Zelle. Another thing, I tried sending somebody money and couldn't do... The registration thing, you know how, like, a lot of them, a lot of things now when you're signing up for something and they'll send you a code by text that you got to put in, like a PIN code? So I was doing this thing, you know, and it was at night when you can't, like, call them up and say, hey, this doesn't work. But they text me, here's the code you need. 366278. And I put in 366278. It says wrong code. Okay. 366278. Wrong code. So I hit please send again. So they send another one. 595022. 595022. Wrong code. So I gave up on trying to send the money. Luckily, the person I was sending to uh, took a check. Hopefully, they never tried to cash it. Um, okay, so anybody have any questions? Um, I think we covered the important stuff. I'm 111 years old, and you owe me money. And... Uh, I know some of you, you think uh, money's impersonal, but uh, I don't want sweaters, socks, ties, aftershave, because I don't um, use any of those things. You could send me one of those big old, uh, what do they call Omaha Omaha steak uh, baskets, you know, where you get like the bacon wrap filet mignons, plus, uh, you know, you get like premium hamburger and, you know, anything that, you know, costs, you know, over $200 is perfectly acceptable. And if it's something expensive that you're not sure that I want, just include the receipt. It makes it so much easier when I take it back to exchange it. Okay, folks. Uh, so happy birthday and peace out. By the way, you know, uh, if you didn't notice earlier, we heard the Beatles doing birthday. I just remember, uh, in fact, it was the day, if you go back, if you haven't been watching, I did a thing on my 21st birthday, I think I called it Forever 21, and it had to do with uh, us drinking all the booze and wrecking the car and stuff. I just remembered that was the day. Then I went, you know, because everything there was no party and stuff at all. All went to hell. I went down to visit this girl, and uh, you know, she said, "Hey, what's going on?" I thought, "Yeah, you know, I'm having a birthday party," and I explained to her. And she went to take out an album, and I said, "Oh, you're gonna play the white album?" She goes, "Oh, just wait." 
and she puts it on and puts the needle down and it's so if you say it's your birthday da 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 I just always that was cool wish I could remember that girl's name man god what was her name she was gorgeous uh, anyway peace out